Hello everyone, Dr. Carlo Ojeda here with DrER.TV but if you're watching this today, you're watching EDXit Video Pro channel directed at the medical health enthusiast who wants to learn about medicine. I did not do an EKG video yesterday so I owed it to you guys. Here it is. Let's get to it. This EKG when you look at it doesn't look very impressive but attention is in the detail. We'll start with what looks pretty simple here. This looks pretty normal over here. So uh, the rate looks sinus. Every QRS is preceded by a P wave. Every P wave seems to conduct, so it's sinus rhythm. I don't know what the exact rate is, but it doesn't look fast. It doesn't look so slow. The axis is isoelectric here, but positive and positive, so normal axis. There is good progression of the QRS, starts negative, isoelectric, and it becomes positive. So all that so far, nothing much to find with that. But this patient presumably presented with chest pain, so you're going to be paying attention to the detail. The first thing is this here, some ST segment depression. If you throw a line from the P wave through the T segment, you can see this here. That's an ST depression, about 1 to 2 millimeters. And the same can be seen here, so on, on, on one and avial, so the lateral leads, there are depressions. And over here in three and AVF, we're going to throw another line, and the opposite's true. There's a little bit of an ST segment elevation. Now in AVF, it's barely, barely there, right? But it's suspicious, and what really makes it suspicious is because there's some minor changes here and here, but there's ST depressions here, so reciprocal changes. And the patient had active chest pain, so this pain is not characteristic of something we would call a STEMI, uh, ST segment elevation in my, doesn't meet criteria, it's only ST elevation here, but not enough here or here. So we're going to watch this patient closely, maybe wait 15 minutes and do another EKG, and, oh, Anyway, you're going to repeat the EKG because this is what can happen. This is what I put this in. This is me and my two new pups, Woody and Buzz. Woody and Buzz, as in Toy Story. Yes, indeed. It's like this one. EKG looks normal. I mean, it's T-wave inversion there, a little flat QRS here, good progression through here, not fast, not slow, but certainly doesn't have reciprocal changes or anything like that. It looks pretty good, right? But this same patient, a little bit later, look what happened. Kapow! Right? So this is bad. It, 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 severe ST elevations, almost square tombstone ST segment elevations with ST depressions here and here. Remember what we saw on that other one? But look here. Uh, depression, 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 depression. I mean, this is a pretty depressed EKG. So the important thing is that the patient has active changes and has EKG findings consistent with ischemia to not ignore subtle changes like here and uh, certainly not this. This patient needs to repeat EKGs, repeat monitoring, uh, obviously treated with aspirin, nitroglycerins is needed and um, uh, cardiac enzymes, protonins, pr uh, pr troponins and so on. So anyway, that was the EKG of the day. I'm sorry for the late post, but I will do more and I'll post them today, but uh, date them so that we'll have one every Friday. So don't forget about the channel and make sure you are at attentive to new videos. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.